I don't want to be passive in such challenging times, but doing something like marching just doesn't feel right to me. I have two small children at home. What can I do? I, I love this, that you're noticing something which is so important. You don't want to be passive, but feel that for a moment. Remember, I began this talk on March to Freedom saying that any powerful march of any significance has to begin with stillness and intention. So it's if you can begin to think of yourself as not being passive, but being deliberate, because you have two small children at home, that's a beautiful experience to be able to have this life where we're having this uh, pause and a more insular time to come in. And if you're not feeling guilty and you're feeling as though this world that you're occupying right now, you're being told, pay attention here, and you're noticing in a space of stillness and presence and intentionality, that this is where you're meant to be, then this question about being passive in such challenging times, you're not really being passive, you're being present. And that's really important to notice that if you're going to do anything of any significance out in the world, you want to cultivate presence first. I feel that anyone who does have this recognition of presence is going to be told all kinds of ways that they're able to help. And it, it might be doing something that feels very uh, insular or insignificant right now, but maybe right now you're cultivating the capacity to garner more power and energy for something in the future. We don't know. Let yourself relax and be and, and cultivate that that experience of cherishing the presence that you have now with your two children. And notice that you also said, it just doesn't feel right to go out and march. Pay attention to your feelings. Your feelings are the indication of whether you're in alignment with truth. You'll feel peaceful and you'll feel at ease. And you'll know what feels right by how you feel if you're connecting. And if it feels disconnected or frenzied or, or anxious or fearful, don't go there. That's the road you don't want to go down. So just notice now that you have the answers within you. And each of us has a particular piece of this puzzle that we're going to be embodying during these times of, of evolution, tangible evolution like we're in right now. Just let yourself be first and foremost, relax and be present. And you'll be told. And just again, you can always, always, always default to this, the most important and powerful prayer and intention. Tell me where to go. Tell me what to do. Tell me what to say and to whom. And I will to do it and nothing more. And maybe your two children are the ones that are going to go out in 20 years, 30 years from now and do things that are powerful and, and progressive in the world. And they want your energy right now, honing this capacity within them. We don't know, we don't have to know, but just go with that voice of sanity and peace within us that's so tangible and powerful when we become present and know that that's perfect.